Hello, I'm Tina. Welcome to my channel. Mm, last video we discussed the theory part about GSP include action, and uh, it's longer. It's actually longer than I expected. I didn't thought, didn't uh, realize I was that talkative. Okay. And in this video, I will show you a demo. Okay, about that. Uh, the I'm gonna using the same uh, project we using uh, for we used for the GSP forward. And uh, let's go ahead to create our GSP include. Okay, I will cre create another page which is called. Uh, GSP, uh, sorry, I follow the same name convention called the GSP include. Okay, this page and uh, GSP include action demo. Okay, because GSP include also has uh, another one called the GSP include directive. We want to show this is called the action one. Okay, uh, now I will add a link here. L I and uh, A H R E F G S P include G S P okay and here I will say G S P uh, include action demo okay and now we will go to G S P include uh, we will create a nap page to be um, what what should I call oh my god this is the most difficult time. Uh, uh oh my god it in included uh being being included okay oh sorry i really don't have a good name for that uh, this page is gonna will be yes included inside the gsp include dot gsp okay and uh, the first thing is we can try so far only this part is a dynamic right but actually this one don't do very uh, important task so here we will create uh, an h1 and i will say gsp include the demo okay and here i will have a paragraph paragraph let's uh, copy something from our slides uh, really tired to try okay uh, okay let, let, let's do like this one uh, is this is this too much i uh, just using one okay and now i will create a gsp include gsp include and the page, what is a page? We're using relative URL, okay? Called the uh, GSP. Uh, no, 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 no. If we do like this, we're gonna have an error, like a stack overflow. Uh, being included, okay. Uh, and uh, by default, flash, yes, uh, force, okay. And now we have another paragraph here. Oh my god, it's getting late and uh, my, my my brain doesn't uh, work now. Kind of like uh, slow. Okay, so uh, between the two paragraph tag, we have a GSP being include. And uh, for this one, we can do some dynamic thing. Okay, uh, here just uh, for demo purpose. Okay, we will do is yes, out.print 2 plus 4. Okay, and uh, out uh, dot print. Uh, here have a paragraph, and uh, the answer is six. Okay. Oh my God, this is a uh, silly. <laughs> Okay, now let me run and show you. Oh, there's another thing I want to try is here. Uh, being, being, in, 
included GSP is uh, executed. Okay. They say to test. We if we keep request this page, and uh, if it only happen once, we should see this uh, uh, in the console once. And uh, but uh, in our theory, we think it's gonna be called as many as the request goes to GSP include page, right? Now let's run. Uh, this video, I think it's gonna also be long because I speak very slowly and uh, my mind doesn't work well now. <laughs> Okay, it's done. Uh, let's go to the browser. This is our browser, and now I'll click this. Uh, I'll, I'll clear this action, and uh, I'll go here. Click. Good. Okay, so here this is our first paragraph, and this is our last paragraph, and this is the first out uh, dot print. This is second out dot print, right? And these two are inside. Uh, our being include page which the behavior looks good right and now we have one print out one uh, system out in our console now i will go yes refresh the page see here when i refresh the page you will see the system dot out dot print time is being executed as many as the request goes to this GSP include page, right? Then that means the GSP include happened at when? The GSP include happened at runtime, okay? Which is different from GSP include directive. Okay, second one, I want to show you is yes, suppose this page doesn't exist, okay? This page doesn't exist. Based on our theory, we should see error. Like this our theory, we are through an exception, okay? So I think it's complete, okay? And now I will go to the, is it finished? Uh, now it's finished okay I'll go here and we'll go back refresh okay and then click here you will see exception GSP not found okay this is good uh, the last one I want to show you uh, uh, the next one not the last one Okay, here we can have uh, some prompt. Prompt, okay, and the key uh, China. Let's using the previous one, okay. And here is Miss XING. And let's add another one, GSP include, which is a name. Oh, sorry, author. Okay, like a uh, name is Tina, right? That's my name. Okay, and in our B include, we can actually get these two values, get this, uh, uh, these two prime. Okay, now let me show you. Paragraph, our other paragraph, which is first one, we can use in E expression prime dot what? Prime dot China, China, China. How do you pronounce China? I didn't practice this one, okay. I worried I actually spell pronounce it wrong prime dot author okay see and now this is second I want to show you which is you can add, uh, have some uh, parameter because uh, GSP include action is better for dynamic uh, page so you may need to have some uh, parameter which is based on the values here and you do some action and those two values can also be dynamic right okay now let's go to our browser goes back refresh okay and click okay you are see missing and tina and from six to this part is inside our uh, being included page right see here when i refresh okay 
And the last one I want to show you is this one called the flash. Okay. By default, it is a force, right? Okay. So I will explicitly set it to force. And uh, if I using force, and another thing I want to do is here. Okay. After this include a page, I I continued has a forward page here. Okay. So this force is a default. You no matter I write or not write, it's the same. Okay. So here I have a forward to result.jsp and this is result.jsp which we used before. Uh, this is gonna fail silently, I think. Okay, so it shouldn't have any problem. Okay, now let's go and uh, redeploy. Sorry, this uh, page. My laptop, why is so slow? I just purchased it this May and spend, uh, I think it's lots of money, okay? <laughs> Compared with uh, my pre other laptop. Actually, I haven't buy, I always using my company's laptop. Okay, now click this one, include. Okay, which page it is? This page is what? This page is what? This page, Yes, the result page, which is this one. Uh, sorry, this one. This one have prom channel. Oh, oh, sorry, I made the wrong statement. Okay, because the result page have channel and author, so result page will always get them correctly. Okay, okay. So this is re uh, result page. That means after this include right. We still it still goes to the forward. It still works, right? And now if I using true, it doesn't work. Okay, that's a difference between them. Okay. And now let's go and go back to here and uh, refresh. Okay, now let, let me include. Can you see? It's a GSP include page. This URL doesn't change. But here, you didn't see the result page. You still see it is a GSP include action demo. The reason is when we using flash true, okay, when we using flash true, what's gonna happen? When the when our uh, eventually our GSP gonna turn into a servlet, right? So when the request comes and uh, our servlet will also execute the line from the uh, this line first, then output this line, this line header body h1 paragraph. So all, all of them gonna be actually already in the buffer, right? And uh, when we use true, true means what? Those content in the buffer, okay, send them to the browser. And when the browser get the information, browser we are trying to render, which is create the DOM and display them in the browser, right? So in that case, after you flash those content to the browser, you cannot forward to another page. Because if you forward all the things, what should we do for those things already in the browser side? Because when we forward all the things, we shouldn't display in the browser, right? So it cannot be uh, like a send them back, it cannot do. That's why after we flash, okay, you cannot forward. You can also not uh, uh, change the, what's thing, something I forgot, sorry. You cannot send the other HTTP header because it's been flashed, okay? Uh, <clears throat> in the, you cannot set a cookies and a cookies is also set in the header. You cannot do those things. And with that flash, you can do. Uh, that says a flash true and a false is doing. Okay, send those content already, send the content before this GSP include, okay? 
the buffered content into the browser, send it to the browser. Okay. Uh, I think uh, uh, I covered most of uh, the examples here. Uh, it just have uh, two syntax to using GSP include one uh, without parameter, the other one has parameter. And uh, if you have other uh, like a scenario, you can just uh, practice by yourself. I think you can do it by yourself now. Okay. Thank you for watching this video, the demo. Uh, if you want to download, you can go to the description. It's gonna be have a link there. Okay. Uh, if you like my video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye bye.